Let's name him Quasar. Quasar Finkelstein. I don't know. It's cute when he's a baby, but not later on. Yeah. We can still put it on the list. I don't know what was wrong with Fuzzy Shoehorn. You know, I think we should name him something unique that nobody's ever heard of before, like Fremlik or Kelden Fleur. A Grosman. Ooh. Grosman. Hello, little Grosman. Hey, he likes it. He does. Okay. Okay. All right, that's it. That's it. For two weeks now, I've been listening to you guys try to name this baby after lawn furniture and planets and colors and feelings and trees. Oh, yeah, dogwood. Whatever happened to dogwood? Never mind what happened to dogwood. It's not a name, and neither is Adirondack or Tetherball or 112. Look. You give a girl a freaky name and it's kind of cute, but... You think my name is Freaky? Yes, but that's not my point. If this kid walks onto a schoolyard and says, Hi, my name is Fountain Pen Pussy Willow Finkelstein, he's going to get the tar kicked out of him. Tar! 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 tar. tar. No! Tar! I like it. Tar. No! Give him a regular name, like David or Michael or Steven. Wow, honey, I didn't realize you had such strong feelings about this. Well, he's my brother-in-law. Oh, that's very loving of you, Greg. You know, actually, I was thinking of naming him Harold after my father. Yeah. Well, that's very nice, Larry. <laughs> but you know that if we're going to name him after an ancestor, I've always liked Christian for my grandfather. Oh, that's a good idea. Why don't you call Miami Beach and tell my mother, Esther Finkelstein, that her grandson's name is Christian? You know what? Maybe I will. And while you're at it, why don't you just stab her in the chest? Fine. And maybe as she lays there dying, she'll stop calling me Amy. She's hard of hearing, I told you. She's hard of hearing. She's hard of heart is what she is. No, Was no, that no. my fault? Not really. Let's make a pact that when we have kids, we're not going to put ourselves through this. Absolutely. A boy will be Joe or Bill or Tom, and a girl will have a freaky name like Sunshine Space Tweezers. <laughs> See, now it's cute for a girl. <laughs> This is great. Family tree, baby's first words. You know, everybody should do one of these for their kids. If they can. These things are hard. <laughs> Where did mommy and daddy meet? Who knows that kind of thing? Maybe you can come back to that one, Larry. Well, he's asleep. I ran out of animals, so old McDonald now has robots, dinosaurs, and a bug zapper on his farm. Thanks. <laughs> hey. mm. while you're up, honey, would you get me some more apple juice? I'll get it. No, I'm up. Here we go. All about daddy. Where was I born? Man, they could at least make it multiple choice. New York City, Larry. That doesn't sound right, but okay. Everything's delicious, Dharma. Thanks. Honey, why don't you sit down and eat? Your food's gonna get cold. I will. Ah, daddy's favorite song. Jimi Hendrix, hey Joe, it reminds you of that time you drove cross country with one arm Bob and you never got any sleep because every time he drove, you had to do all the shifting. <laughs> Wow. Favorite song, One Arm Bob. Oops, I got it. Got it. Hello? Sure, I would love to hear about your long distance phone company. <laughs> Sweetie, do, do you want me to get the baby? Uh oh, Daddy's favorite movie. It's a tie! It's Lawrence of Arabia and Fritz the Cat! Right. <laughs> Sure, how could you choose? <laughs> oh, throw it! Throw it! Man! You know, sometimes I think they can't hear me. <laughs> Pete, do you, uh, do you know your dad's favorite movie? Muppets Take Manhattan, why? <laughs> Maybe it's just me. What? I, I, I don't know anything about my father. Dharma knows the name of the girl her dad took to his high school prom. Larry went to a prom? Uh, junior year. Um, senior year, he ran a kind of concession in the parking lot. There's our Larry. Yeah. You know, my dad, uh, he lost his virginity at his prom to his English teacher. He told you that? Yeah, he told everybody. It's a great story. She still flunked him. Hey, where you been? 
went straight from work to my mom's to help her out, and now I gotta get a change of clothes and go right back. You know, spend the night there again? Honey, the baby wakes up every two hours, and with Larry working nights, Abby's just exhausted. Oh, I'm sorry about that, but aren't they kind of taking advantage of you? I'm not taking advantage. I'm helping. That's what you do for family. Okay, I just was hoping that tonight was, you know. <laughs> Monkey Love Monday, I know. <laughs> I was looking forward to that, too. You know what? You want to do something really fast right now? Nothing fancy, no tricks? Take it. <laughs> you know what? I'm sorry. I really don't have time. i got to change and get out of here. Choke. <laughs> Just watch the game. You know, if you're really hurting, we could run a dirty movie. <laughs> watch the game. All right, we could kiss for a while with our shirts on. All right? N nothing fancy, no tricks, though. The game. <laughs> Gonna buy you a diamond ring. Oh, he's up. Diaper. Oh, again. Yes, well, you know what babies say about breast milk. You don't buy it, you're in it. <laughs> yeah, try to get him to sleep. No, you get some rest. You're gonna have to nurse in an hour. Oh, you're the angel. And if that diamond ring don't shine, Dom is gonna buy you a big green line. That big green line don't squeeze. Dharma's gonna buy you a house of cheese. <laughs> and if that house of cheese gets moldy, gonna... wow, that was great, honey. <laughs> I got a minute. Wait, wait, don't, don't you want to uh, talk or cuddle or something? No, I'm good. Love you. I feel so cheap. <laughs> Morning. Sorry. Hey, hey, hey. Look who's up. Hi. All right, I'm off. Edward, did Gregory say why he wanted to have lunch with you? I couldn't make much sense out of it. Something about wanting to get to know me. Oh. For heaven's sakes, Edward, it couldn't be that. Why don't you write these things down? I'm pretty sure that's what he said. Huh. And you're sure he didn't want me to come along as well? No, no, he was very clear about that. Just me. Now, doesn't that seem a bit odd? Well, um, I didn't give it much thought. Now, you don't suppose... You don't suppose he's developed some sort of an issue with me and he's trying to forge an alliance with you? Possibly. 
Unbelievable. Oh, boy, you sacrificed your life for these children, and this is how they repay you. Okay, well, uh, see you later. And remind him. I nearly broke my tailbone giving birth to him. I'll try to work it in. <laughs> Dad, I don't want to talk about Mother's tailbone. I want to talk about you. <laughs> All right, but if she asks, I told you. Okay. <laughs> this is nice, isn't it? Just you and me? Mm hmm. Do you remember the girl you took to your prom? Sure. <laughs> well, what was she like? Nice gal, tall gal. Did you did you like her? Yeah, I suppose I liked her well enough. <laughs> Did you ever play an instrument? I took um, clarinet lessons as a child. I stopped. I don't know why. <laughs> clarinet? Might have been an oboe. <laughs> Oboe's nice. No, 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 it was a clarinet. Don't go to sleep. No, don't go to sleep. No, no. Come on, we got the whole night ahead of us. Come on, hang in there with me, big guy. You can do it. Oh, I'm so screwed. <laughs> oh, there you are. Honey, listen, I know how hard you've been working, and I'm starting to feel like I'm taking advantage of you. No, no, Abby, you're not. Are you sure? Well, finish your thought. <laughs> do you remember Becky who helped take care of you when you were little? Becky, who used to give me piggyback rides? Uh-huh. I called her, and she said she'd love to help. Oh, that's great. Thank you, Abby. <laughs> oh, thank you, God. When will she be here? She's here now. Becky, come on in the kitchen. Oh, it's going to be great to see her again. <laughs> Who's ready for a piggyback ride? <laughs> Why don't you take the first one? <laughs> Becky, one soft boiled egg, wheat toast, lightly buttered, no crust, and two stewed prunes. Skinned. Yes, skinned. Oh, good. <laughs> My feet are swollen. Oh, no. Maybe you should stay off them today. Hi. What a knife. They expect me to sleep sitting up. They have got to get me a better chair. <laughs> Baby, come on over and have your dinner. It's eggplant lasagna. I hope you didn't go to too much trouble. No, no. Dharma made your dinner. Hey, must be nice having Becky here so you have time to putter around the kitchen. <laughs> Don't anybody move. Oh, Dharma, let me help you. That's so nice, but you're just a voice inside my head. <laughs> Hey, brought your stuff. Oh, Jean, thank you so much. Did you remember the cappuccino? Triple shot grande. <laughs> oh, sweet nectar of the gods. They don't have coffee here? Chicory. And can I just tell you something? Chicory sucks. <laughs> Chicory dickory sucks. Brought you two changes of clothes, shampoo. My parents make their own shampoo. Does it suck? I think it's made out of chicory. <laughs> Why couldn't Greg bring this stuff over? Because I didn't want a luxury. Thanks for being taken advantage of. You look like hell. That's weird, because I feel like crap. <laughs> you buttoned your shirt wrong. <laughs> Yesterday, I had a book in my pants all day. Nobody said a word. But you're doing okay? Yes, I am. Okay, then. Try to get some sleep. Thanks, I will. <sighs> Don't tell Greg. So, are we going to be doing this lunch thing every day? No, I, I just, you know, thought that this was a good way to get to know you better. I'm not dying, am I? Not as far as I know. Oh, good. 
Because I'm thinking of ordering a Reuben. <laughs> uh, would you say that that's your favorite sandwich? No, not really. <laughs> I was thinking you, you, you probably don't know much about me either. You're not dying, are you? <laughs> Fine. Good. Uh, two Rubens. <laughs> For instance, do you remember Christina Parker? No. Well, she was my, she's my, my girlfriend's senior year of high school. Okay. And, and do you remember that, that Easter break when I said that I was going camping with some guys? I think so. Well, I wasn't completely honest with you about what went on. <laughs> Okay, son, I see where you're going here. Anything that happens when you're young in the woods with a bunch of fellas. Death. I was with Christina. We spent the weekend in a motel. Don't feel you have to make up some story about a girl. No, I... Just don't talk about it. It's not a story. I was with this girl. Son, we had two boys in my outfit in Vietnam. They got cut off from the rest of us, spent three weeks alone in the jungle. When we found them, they had... They had kind of set up house together, if you know what I mean. Dad, that's not it. But the war ended. They came back stateside. They both got married to a couple of nice girls, had families. One of them is a United States congressman. The other fella is his personal assistant. That's very interesting, but I want to talk about you. Oh, I never did anything like that. Oh. All right. Whatever it is, I feel no need to apologize. From the day that you were born, I have done everything humanly possible to be a good mother, to keep this family together, and if that is not good enough, then frankly, you are one ungrateful young man. Oh, hello, Reuben. Dharma! Yo! Listen. I invited a bunch of people over to see the baby. So do you think you could heat up a pot of your chili? You invited people over? How many? I don't know, nine or ten. At the same time? <laughs> well, if there's not enough chili, just make some sandwiches. Nothing fancy. Hello! We're oh, here! Hi, girl! Hi! Oh, where's that beautiful baby? I want to see, I want to yeah, see. Let me show you, let me show you. Oh, would you look at that beautiful face? Oh, I want to eat those cheeks! <laughs> Down, I just got Becky to sleep. <laughs> Harold Christian Finkelstein is such a beautiful name. But if my mother asks, the C stands for Irving. <laughs> I don't know how you do it, Abby. You look terrific. Oh, thanks, Joyce. I feel good. And you're keeping the house up. My daughter had a baby last year. She's 22 years old. Her house was like a kennel. Oh, I couldn't live like that. I still can't get over how wonderful you look. Oh, please. You know, it's funny, too, because I remember being just exhausted with Dharma. <sighs> I guess it's true what people say. The second one is easier. <laughs> hey, here's a thought. Maybe the second one is easier because the first one is doing all the damn work. <laughs> Don't look at me like I'm a crazy person. Who has stayed up every night with this baby? Me. Who has changed him, burped him, and dressed him? Me. Who has gotten Larry ready every night for work? Who has cooked every meal this last week? And who found your teeth? I'm not sure they're mine. <laughs> Fine. Whatever. You're on your own now because I'm going home where I can get some sleep, do my laundry, do my dishes, and if I have any strength left, my husband. <laughs> No, no matter how much you try to include them, the first one is always a little jealous. <laughs> Thanks, Ed. That's all I needed to know. Sure, if I think of anything else, I'll call you. Bye. You got nothing, right? First love, Phyllis McCarthy broke his heart. He still keeps one of her hair ribbons in his cigar box on his desk at work. He just told you that. Mm -hmm. Biggest regret? Not stopping Lena Horne for an autograph in New York in 1956. Wow. Favorite color, sky blue. Favorite song, do you want a taxi? Favorite band, do you want a brass? Oh, that makes sense. Biggest fear?
Nuclear decapitation. <laughs> Favorite movie? A little bit of a surprise here. The piano. The piano? Well, it is a woman on an island who doesn't speak. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't keep my eyes open anymore. Oh, no, go to bed. Good night. Oh, check out the bottom of page three. Wait, wait, what does this mean? My dad hailed Kitty after two dates? That's an N, hon. Oh. Oh, I didn't mean to know that. Wood, it's not a name, and neither is Adirondack or Tetherball or 112. Look, you give a girl a freaky name and it's kind of cute, but... You think my name is Freaky? Yes, but that's not my point. If this kid walks onto a schoolyard and says, Hi, my name is Fountain Pen Pussy Willow Finkelstein, he's going to get the tar kicked out of him. Tar! 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 tar. No! Tar! I like No! Give him a regular name, like David or Michael or Steven. Wow, honey, I didn't realize you had such strong feelings about this. Well, he's my brother-in-law. Oh, that's very loving of you, Greg. You know, actually, I was thinking of naming him Harold after my father. Yeah. Well, that's very nice, Larry. <laughs> but you know... <laughs> This is great. Family tree, baby's first words. You know, everybody should do one of these for their kids. If they can. These things are hard. <laughs> Where did mommy and daddy meet? Who knows that kind of thing? Maybe you can come back to that one, Larry. Well, he's asleep. I ran out of animals, so old McDonald now has robots, dinosaurs, and a bug zapper on his farm. <laughs> hey. mm. Darma, while you're up, honey, would you get me some more apple juice? I'll get it. No, I'm up. Oh, that if we're going to name him after an ancestor, I've always liked Christian for my grandfather. Oh, that's a good idea. Why don't you call Miami Beach and tell my mother, Esther Finkelstein, that her grandson's name is Christian? <laughs> you know what? Maybe I will. And while you're at it, why don't you just stab her in the chest? Fine. And maybe as she lays there dying, she'll stop calling me Amy. <laughs> She's hard of hearing, I told you. She's hard of hearing. She's hard of heart is what she is. No, Was that... My fault? Not really. <laughs> Let's make a pact that when we have kids, we're not going to put ourselves through this. Absolutely. A boy will be Joe or Bill or Tom, and a girl will have a freaky name like Sunshine Space Tweezers. <laughs> See, now it's cute for a girl. Let's name him Quasar. <laughs> Quasar Finkelstein. No, it's cute when he's a baby, but not later on. Yeah, we can still put it on the list. I don't know what was wrong with Fuzzy Shoehorn. <laughs> you know, I think we should name him something unique that nobody's ever heard of before, like Fremlich or Kelden Fleur. Or Grosman. Ooh, Grosman. hello, little Grosman. Hey, he likes it. He does. Okay. Okay. All right, that's it. That's it. For two weeks now, I've been listening to you guys try to name this baby after lawn furniture and planets and colors and feelings and trees. Oh, yeah, dogwood. Whatever happened to dogwood? Never mind what happened to dogwood. Here we go. All about daddy. Where was I born? Man, they could at least make it multiple choice. New York City, Larry. That doesn't sound right, but okay. Everything's delicious, Dharma. Thanks. Honey, why don't you sit down and eat? Your food's going to get cold. I will. Ah, Daddy's favorite song. Jimi Hendrix, Hey Joe, it reminds you of that time you drove cross country with one arm Bob and you never got any sleep because every time he drove, you had to do all the shifting. Uh, favorite song, one arm Bob. Oops, I got it. Got it. Hello? Sure, I would love to hear about your long distance phone company. 